Hello friends, welcome to this video series of isometric drawing. We will solve one more problem on isometric drawing in this video. These are the given orthographic views, right hand side view and front view. Length of this object is 80 millimeters. The total height of this object is 30 plus 4, 5 plus 2, 5 is equal to 100 millimeters. The width of this object is 70 millimeters. This is the given origin point on front view and right hand side view. Now we will draw an isometric view of these orthographic views. Please subscribe the channel if not subscribed yet. Now, you should construct an isometric lines first. Draw a reference line and mark origin point on this line. Now, mark the points on 30 degree, 90 degree and 150 degree angle in order to draw an isometric lines. And draw the line through these points, like this. These are the x-axis, y-axis and z-axis. Now we will draw this highlighted portion on these isometric lines. Here is the line of 30 millimeters height from origin point as given in right hand side view. Draw a 80 millimeters line on the x-axis to the right side from origin point as shown in RHSV. Draw a line with 30 millimeters height from this point also. Set scale parallel to this line and join these two points. Draw a construction line from this point parallel to the y-axis. Now we will draw this highlighted part of front view. Mark a point on 70 millimeters on this line from origin point. And dark 15 millimeters portion of this line at its both end. Now shift all these points to the upward direction parallel to the z-axis like this. Dark these both lines by 15 millimeters and join their both ends, like this. Make this line dark. Now, we will construct this red colored line of front view. Mark a point at 26 millimeters distance on this line and again, mark another point next to this point by 18 millimeters. Now make these lines dark. Shift these two points upward by 5 millimeters and close the loop. Now set a scale parallel to this line and draw a small line from this point. Draw a construction line parallel to the x-axis from this point to the right side. Draw another construction line from this point parallel to y-axis like this. And make both lines dark. Draw a vertical line from this point. Make this line dark with 45 millimeters distance. Set a scale parallel to this line and draw a construction line like this. Mark a point at 25 millimeters on this line and this will be the center point. Now we have to construct a circle and a semicircle which are appearing in RHSV. We should draw an isometric squares by faint lines to make the isometric circles. And a side of isometric square should be equal to the diameter of circle.
Here we have made an isometric square. We should mark midpoints of all sides. Now join the opposite midpoints from big angle like this. Take this distance into compass and draw an arc from these two midpoints. Draw a tangent to this arc like this. Dark this portion of an arc. Take this distance into compass and join these two midpoints. Make this line thick. Shift all these construction points of circle by 18 millimeters parallel to the y-axis. Take this distance into compass and draw an arc from new center point. Again, take this small distance into compass and draw an arc. Now, Draw a tangent from this point like this. Again, draw a tangent to these both arcs also. Now you should make required portion thick. Now, set scale parallel to this line and draw a line from this point. Again, we have to make another isometric square with 30 mm side in order to draw a circle which is appearing in RHSV. Here, isometric square is completed. Now, join the midpoints of opposite sides from both big angles, like this. These are the center points, C1, C1 dash, C2 and C2 dash. Set this distance into compass and join these midpoints. Do the same procedure for this side also. Now take this distance into compass and join the midpoints from center C2. And draw the arc between midpoints with same distance from center point C2 dash. Now, shift this center point C1 to the left side by 18 mm parallel to the y-axis. This will be the new center point to draw the arc.
Now, take this distance into compass and draw a small arc from new center point in the circle like this. The isometric drawing is completed here. Now, we should give all the dimensions those are appearing in the given both orthographic views, front view and right-hand side view. This is 80 mm. These dimensions are 15 millimeters, 40 millimeters, and 70 millimeters. This is 15 millimeters, given in the front view. And this height is 30 millimeters. This is 5 mm distance. This height is 45 mm given in RHSV. The width of this rib is 18 mm given in front view. This width is 26 mm. Now, we will give the dimensions for circle. The radius of this semicircle is 25 millimeters. The diameter of this circle is 30 millimeters. Now, we have completed the isometric drawing with all dimensions. Please subscribe the channel, thank you.